Welcome or welcome back to Watch Advisor on YouTube. It's Alexander speaking, your host, and on your screen you see the Frédéric Constant High Life World Timer, manufacturer powered by the in house movement Frédéric Constant FC 718. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell to get our latest notifications. The High Life World Timer from Frédéric Constant is a free hands watch featuring an additional world time zone indication that can be independently set through the crown and has a date function at six o'clock. So what you see here is not the running second. The running second is here. You see the central second hand swiping over the dial, reaching 15 now. So it is from the center. You have an indication, as I said, of the hours, the minutes. This is the date indication and located on the outer side of the dial. You have the world time function and uh, how to use this world time function will be also part of the video as many other little details as I always give you when I make such a review. So let me jump right into some technical details. What you see is a stainless steel case that uh, has a diameter of uh, 41 millimeter, 41 millimeter. The thickness of the case is quite reasonable for uh, the fact that you also have this uh, world time function on top. So thickness is 12.9 millimeter and the so-called log to log distance, uh, meaning the distance, I always measure the distance from one log end to the other log end is 43 millimeter. The case is waterproof up to 50 meters features a boxed sapphire crystal on the front side. I will try to show you this with my plastic pointer. In another video someone was scared about my pointer and thought that I'm scratching watches. No guys, this is plastic. It's a pointer made for the watch industry for such purposes. So you cannot harm a watch with it. Impossible. So this is a boxed sapphire crystal. As you see when I swipe over it, you can see it. A boxed sapphire crystal. And the uh, sapphire crystal features an anti-reflective treatment on both sides, but still as it is boxed, uh, causes some reflections as you might have already seen. I'm filming here in bright sunlight, bright, wonderful November sunlight, a uh, smooth, very warm light. And I love it because this is the best light you can have to film a watch. So. The watch also, you have seen it before when I was turning it around. Uh, the case back um, features a sapphire crystal too. And this sapphire crystal has an anti-reflective treatment on the inner side. And you may and you can, through the case back, admire the FC718, the in-house movement, automatic in-house movement of Frédéric Constant. Frédéric Constant is based in Geneva, as you all know, in the quarter of blanc les just close uh, to um, watchmakers like Vacheron Constant around the corner is Patek Philippe, around the corner is a uh, factory of Rolex, so, and also Harry Winston is over there. So that's really a uh, watchmaker's quarter in Geneva and they're all there. Piaget is also there, so they're all there. Um, all these I mentioned, of course, and it's a Geneva watchmaker. And so what you see here in kind of decoration on a movement, you have perlage, that are these little squares decorating the plates, and uh, circular Côte de Genève. These are the Côte de Genève decoration in the center, as you see. So the movement is being or has been traditionally decorated by some typical Geneva elements you use or the watchmakers use to decorate the movement. You see the rotor, 
Uh, on the rotor, you see Frédéric Constant manufacture. That is um, how they call at Frédéric Constant the watches that do feature an in-house movement and in-house caliber. And this is the, to repeat it again, the uh, Foxtrot Charlie or Frédéric Constant 718 movement features a power reserve of, I have to say, only, only 38 hours. This could of course be more but uh, yeah, considering the fact that it is an automatic movement and in case you are wearing it a watch you won't have a problem still because uh, yeah the automatic rotor will of course always charge and deliver enough energy to the barrel so the watch will always run but in case you're taking it off 38 hours yep could be more could be more effective in effect yeah as you already see in the background the watch is available with different straps and before going into details let me first show you the bracelet that is now on the watch Uh, matte outer links and polished inner links. They are uh, all around the place. This is a folding clasp um, featuring the Frédéric Constant logo. And when you press, you open, it's a butterfly clasp. Here you go. I... Yeah, this is how it looks like. Is there, um, yeah, you question, of course, is there a micro link adjustment? Nope. There is none. Um, it uh, is as it is. You have the possibility. Um, I did a wrong, wrong way. Excuse me. You clip and you see, looking nice. Um, so the micro length adjustment is not there. What you can do is, of course, you can um, yeah, take out some links, um, as you see here. Uh, they are not screwed. These links, um, what you do is you hammer them out. You need a hammer and some tooling, and then you can, yep, once you have been taking out one of the links, you bring back again the pin that will fix the um, bracelet together. But no micro length adjustment. So this could, could in case you have a wrist size that is not perfectly adjustable with the uh, existing links on the watch that could cause uh, some um, yeah, comf comfort uh, um, losses. Um, uh, yep, yeah, could be, could be. Must not, can, you always know. But, but what is really nice, um, the fact that uh, Frédéric Constant delivers the watch with a system uh, we have seen before. Here is the spring bar that, of course, fixes um, the end of the bracelet into uh, the um, case. And what you see, um, you see um, the spring bar as two pins. Uh, we have seen this before on normal watches, if you are uh, frequently watching my videos, our videos here on Watch Advisor and YouTube, you have seen this before on the Nomos watches and neither I think uh, Frédéric Constant nor Nomos uh, have in, uh, did invent this kind of technology. It is there, um, yep, and is makes sense because you don't need to develop any rocket science here. You just have a spring bar, they have two pins and by squeezing the pins together you can easily easily release the um, bracelet and this is what I will do now including my gloves. Forgive me if you are not in the first row to see what I do but I have been just squeezing um, the two spring bars and it really is easy. I always respect um, yeah, the surface and I always try to be very careful with watches uh, that are not mine, uh, that I get for reviews, especially so I wear gloves. But with gloves, it, you feel a little bit like handicapped uh, sometimes. And now let me try again with my right hand. I'm right-handed, okay, there you go. So you squeeze those uh, pins, and then it opens up. So we have now the single watch head and you already see that there is a form given in between um, the locks. You have a design that really perfectly enables uh, either the bracelet or the strap to be integrated into the design of this watch head. 
And now I am taking <coughs> the one of the straps that comes with it. This is a rubber strap. And um, the watch comes with three straps, but unfortunately I only got uh, two versions. It's the bracelet and this rubber strap, but there is also a Nubuk leather strap coming with it. I can't show you because they did not send it to me for the review. So the watch comes when you buy it for 3,795 euros, including 19% VAT um, or 20%. It's the same price, 3,795 euros. If you buy the watch, you get two straps and the bracelet that you have seen already. This is the rubber strap. This is the second part of it, so nicely looking rubber strap and easy, easy, easy peasy to attach it. You squeeze, you squeeze, you first have to um, insert, then you squeeze the, um, the pins. Uh, <laughs> now I'm curious to see if I can make it. You saw it? I did it with gloves! So if I can do it, look. Look how the perfectly it is integrated into its case. Um, looks really if it was always there. And now let me try the same thing again. Let me see if I'm able to do this again. But if I can do this with gloves, in front of a camera, live, there's no editing here, no cheating, no um, re-editing or, or whatsoever. If I can do this, you see, I did it again. Look. So easy, you squeeze, you integrate, and yeah, you see, since there's a perfect integration, you can't miss, it's easy to do. So this is now how the watch looks like with its rubber strap. It has a pin buckle featuring the Frédéric Constant logo. And this is how the watch looks like with the rubber strap. A completely different looking watch, in my humble opinion, from the backside. Rubber, rubber, rubber. So it is now a watch that can be used, yes, as it can be used with the bracelet. Waterproof 50 meters. No restrictions. Even if you sweat, you just take the watch and wash it. The next thing we're talking about is how to set the watch and how to use the world time function of this watch. As you probably already saw uh, when I was showing the watch, there are no external push pieces uh, integrated somewhere in the case. Um, there's only the crown and the crown enables you to do all the handling you want. Um, the watch is set at 10 past 10 and what you may observe, there is a 12 hour indication indica indicating you the day starting at 6 o'clock um, and ending at 1800 or 6 p.m., 6 a.m., 6 p.m., 6 o'clock in the morning, 1800 um, if you uh, are uh, talking about the 24 hour mode. So this watch now is set to 10 past 10 and you see 10 o'clock here. And we see the time zone, the time zone, this is the time zone of Geneva and the zone time is 10 o'clock. The time zone is Geneva. I have to quickly explain this again. Um, uh, we live, I live um, here in Central Europe in the time zone of Paris. Of course, this is a watch that features the name Genève on its dial, Frédéric Constant Genève. So, of course, they use uh, Geneva instead of Paris. So, but still, the time zone is Paris or Geneva and the zone time is 10 o'clock. That's a little different. And now, if you want to use the watch, what happens? Um, in the third position, you have, you see, hacking seconds, the central second hand has stopped. And what happens now, if you start turning, you will see that the ring, the ring, I have just been explaining now here, features noon, high noon, uh, indicated by um, this little sun here. Uh, then we move on, it's one o'clock, etc., etc., and I can go through quickly, and you see this, we're reaching 1800, 6 p.m., and so on, and we're now in the night, so the time indicated here, of course, it's 
the, it's the other round, the other way around, color-wise. So uh, white on dark instead of dark on white. And uh, we are reaching midnight and you will also see that the date change happened to the 29th down there. And I will bring the watch back to 10 o'clock in the morning and show you um, yeah, we're talking about being in Geneva, being in Europe, being uh, where I am here in Vienna and uh, we want to indicate another time zone uh, or the time, uh, the zone time in another time zone and uh, yep, what we do in this case is we um, change we change by pulling out the crown in its appropriate position. That's the second position, yes. And now you can see that being in the second position, the first position is to wind the watch in the second position, you can now change. You can change independently the 24 indicated zone times. And what you see here will be the time in Dhaka, in Bangkok, in Hong Kong, etc., etc. So when you are traveling and you are using the watch, um, you can set your home time. Let me assume that my home time would be something else. You set, for instance, Denver, and you would have then indicated, indicated the, by the ring, you would have indicated your home time. And the other way around, if you are keen to see another, um, if you are keen to know the time in another zone time, or in a time zone, sorry, you keep it at Geneva and what you can do, you can read the time around here and you can see the time indications, Bangkok, for instance, four o'clock because they have a delay, of, they, have the, they have a difference of six hours. And so on the Azores and so on, Rio de Janeiro, um, do you see New York? Four o'clock, six hours of time difference too. And you can read this with the help of the 24 hour indication here. You can read the different um, zone times in the different time zones from the Dial. Yep, that's how you use the watch if you want to use it. And uh, yes, nicely to uh, mention is, or good to mention is, if you are just uh, readjusting the 24-hour uh, ring to indicate another uh, time zone, the watch does not stop. You see that the central second hand continues to swipe over the dial. And this is always good if you are having a travel watch that will not stop the time uh, when you are doing some adjustments. Ah, but of course, of course, of course, of course. Assuming that we would, um, let me set it back. Let me set it back to um, Geneva and I will show you something else. I have been going back six hours from initially 10 o'clock, what we just see on your screen before, to four o'clock in the morning, assuming that I would have been flying from um, Europe to New York, as I often do in such videos, I always say six hours of difference, so you set back six hours, starting from 10 o'clock, then, of course, uh, you see it's four in the morning in New York, here, four in the morning in New York, and Geneva, you see, it's 10 o'clock. And you can then assume the time in all the other cities by using, as I just explained, the 24 houring of the watch. So it's a world timer um, with the high contrast here in blue and white with, uh, I would say, some good readability and some very reasonable sizes. Uh, we still are, we had just some videos online with a huge watch again and people, lots of people discussing the size. Uh, this is, I would say, a very reasonable size, 41 millimeters to repeat that again and a lock to lock dif distance of only 43 millimeters, a thickness of 12.9. So reasonable sizes, good looking, with the um, interchangeable um, uh, strap and bracelet. 
very nicely looking, yup, no doubts, and uh, yeah. I would say um, for the money you pay, and I'm repeating this again, 3,795 euro, including one bracelet, two straps. Not a bad deal at all, I have to say. Thank you very much for watching a video, this video about the world time of Frédéric Constant. Let me know in the comment section if you like the watch, what you think about the watch, etc. etc. Are you using such a um, treble function or a function to indicate you different uh, different uh, zone times in different time zones. Are you using it? Yes or no? I'm keen to know. And yep, use the comment section for all other inquiries you might have about the watch. Thanks for watching and see you soon back here on Watch Advisor on YouTube.